Wow, man. Um, what can I say, man? I feel bad for Ukraine's football team because honestly, I really thought Ukraine were going to qualify for the World Cup here because, you know, I mean, today they were playing really well. It's just uh, Wales keeper Hennessy. He he did a hell of a job today, I think. You know, um, I personally feel like the Welsh keeper did a heck of a job in just, you know, being able to save um, save the uh, shots and all that stuff. And that's the thing, man. Um, Wales, they're heading to the World Cup for the first time since 1958. So, obviously, for Wales, uh, this is a very, very big achievement. And, you know, uh, give it up to Wales. You know, they were able to play really, really well, you know, um, against Ukraine. I think that today Wales... Uh, defensively they were doing really well it's just a ukraine they uh there was that opportunity where they missed a header and now um it just seemed like that the only goal that was scored in this game was in the 34th minute in which it was an own goal apparently nobody was uh on the welsh national team was credited with the goal instead it turned out to be an own goal but yeah man um uh wales man for the first time in over almost what 70 years now they are in the world cup officially that's right gareth bale He's going to be playing in a World Cup, and uh, this is going to be a heck of a World Cup, you know, seeing Wales in it. You know, uh, you look at the Wales national team, and let's get one thing straight here. Wales, they deserve to qualify for the World Cup because, you know, uh, they have never qualified for a World Cup before under Bill. You know, they failed to qualify for 2014. They failed to qualify for the 2018 World Cup, and now they managed to qualify for the 2022 World Cup. So I guess you could say that right now. This is uh, this is the, the moment for the Wales national team. So, yeah. Uh, big props to Wales, man. Shout out to all the Wales fans out there. Um, I can't imagine their excitement right now being able to qualify for a World Cup to a World Cup for the first time since uh, 1950. Must be an, a uh, a really incredible feeling, you know. Uh, so the Wales they finally broke their drought, their World Cup qualifying drought. And they are officially in the World Cup. That's right, Gareth Bale. He's going to be playing a World Cup. So I can't wait to see how Bale performs at the World Cup with Wales. You know, because I always look back at Euro 2016, you know, Bale had a really spectacular tournament. And, you know, I would love to see Bale have a really uh, spectacular World Cup too with the Wales national team. And it's going to be interesting how Wales do in the group that they are paired up with and all that stuff. Because, you know, uh, Bale obviously... I definitely think that he can uh, do something with the Wales national team because Wales, let's be honest, they still have a lot of great uh, potential and a lot of great, I think, um, a lot of great room for being able to uh, potentially make it out of the group stage at the World Cup and maybe uh, give off something really, really special. But yeah, uh, for Ukraine today, they were doing really well. You know, they dominated time of possession. They were doing everything they could to try and get a win. And unfortunately, they just... Um, they, they, they just couldn't find the back of the net. And that's the really um, cruel thing about football is that football, it is a cruel sport. And, you know, with Ukraine not qualifying, this is, of course, a really, uh, really heartbreaking thing because, you know, I feel like I really feel like that Ukraine deserved to qualify for the World Cup. But I guess, you know, Wales, they uh, they were very resilient today, you know, especially against the Ukraine's front three attack. Uh, Wales, especially their keeper, the, the, their keeper just really managed to, I think, uh be able to just repeatedly uh, deny the Ukraine front three, you know, uh, shots on the goal. And um, yeah, so Wales are in the World Cup, ladies and gents. So let me know what you think about this game in the comment section below. And to all the Welsh football fans, hey, you guys did it, man. You guys should be proud of yourselves, Wales, in a World Cup. So I'm happy for the Wales national team, you know, because let's be honest. I mean, you got to be happy for the Wales here, for them to not qualify for the World Cup since 1950. It is absolutely insane and just a crazy drought. And this is only the second time in their uh, country, in their football country's history that they managed to qualify for a world cup so yeah this is a big moment for the wales well-deserved moment as for ukraine hopefully they can maybe qualify for the euros again you know euro 2024 but yeah for wales man um their time has come and after all those years of waiting wales they are headed to qatar that's right so big ups to wales and uh, to ukraine uh keep your head up you guys did, did your best and unfortunately man football like i said before it's just an unpredictable cruel sport and yeah, so anyways, guys, let me know what y'all thought about this game in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.